Hello and welcome back to MFAC Coaching. If you are here from the YouTube collab loop group for Nautical, thank you so much. And of course, if you're just here because you always watch my show, you are the best. Thank you so much. Um, with a nautical theme, I have brought you a kit from Planning in Blue Jeans. I will link it below. How cute is this kit? Oh, I love it. It's called Safe Harbor. And then I have pulled out uh, a washi and some other stickers. And I'm going to decorate my weekly with this spread. Hopefully this interests you, so stick around. All right, the first thing I do, this is a Go Getter Girl Planner, and it's undated, um, and so I need to add the dates. Um, I'm doing some future planning, I guess you'd say. So the this video, let's see where the monthly thing go. This video drops on the tenth. I'm recording it on the seventh. And I'm planning for the week of the 29th. <laughs> so that just has to be, that has to be the first thing I do so that I remember and get the dates correct. So I just, I like to add the dates here. Starting with the days of the week, moving forward from there. Just love it. I love these days of the week stickers. Um, well, I love that they're in the kits, but in this particular case, I just think they look like little signs. Uh, so like that they, they would be up in like someone's home if they were doing like Airbnb and they lived on a beach, like in a nautical area. So I just thought this was so cute. I love it. It's like so simple, but perfection at that. All right, so that Monday, I believe is the 29th. Let's double check. Yeah, 29th. So start with that. All right, so I wanna to talk to you today while I do this about confidence. So it is July and I am hoping you've had a good year thus far. Uh, but in if you are new to my channel, I have a Patreon group that focuses on emotions coaching. I take an emotion a month and I talk about it from six different um, perspectives in psychology. And we, um, and then with those perspectives, obviously we hope to understand the emotion better, but then also we hope to, um, learn different ways to recognize when we're experiencing an emotion more quickly. That way we can respond to that emotion the way we want. Um, so confidence, you know, what most of us, like we're just searching for it, right? Like you just want to feel confident, but you don't want it to, for those who feel it pretty easily. We don't want it to like jump over into some sort of overconfidence or egotism. Um, and so that's where, yeah, okay. 
just want to make sure I got that right. And that's where, um, you know, confidence, like being overconfident would come into play. But um, I always um, take the perspective that in my group, at least, we're going to, I'm going to assume that um, con just finding confidence in the first place is harder for people and that we're not having overconfidence is not something that most people in my group are experiencing. That's the perspective I take just because the majority of people that is the need. Most of us are not, um, struggling with overconfidence, but struggle with um, finding our confidence and then how to express that correctly. But then that's where it comes to the expression piece, right? Is it's like, can we express ourselves the way we want to do so that people don't accuse us of some form of overconfidence? So I'd love to hear what you think of when it comes to um, confidence. Do you feel confident at? Um, the first question I like to ask is like, do you, can you think about those times in which you did feel confident and then think about those times in which you didn't? And like, what was happening? What was that experience um, that would lead you to, um, Yeah, to either feeling or not feeling confident. All right, so this is just a really cute big washi, I guess. Um, I'm going to put this aside. I may pull out to use some of these, but right now I think we're good. Then I have, we have boxes with these really cute designs here at the bottom. She kind of looks like, um, there's like a mermaid right there, which is amazing. I love that. I kind of want to put that mermaid just here on the edge. Oh, how cute. All right, and then we have these boxes and some other boxes. All right. So I think I want to start, let's see. I also have these shells and stuff that these just came from the Dollar Tree, as did this one. I think I'm going to use this like... I love summer in one of these places, uh, but I want to put some of these out first. Barefoot friends are best. That's super cute. But since this is a nautical theme, I want to start with just this ship. Trying to decide if I want to put the ship above the water. I think I'll just do it by itself to start with. The nice thing about the go-getter girl is like there is a space which you could use in a multitude of ways. Um, but I really like to just use it to decorate and then I decorate some of the rest of the page and that's really all you need. So it's not, it's, it's pretty quick and easy to, um, to decorate a week in the go-getter um and it looks it just looks fabulous i love it um so okay when it comes to confidence though i'd like to look at each emotion from six different perspectives um that first perspective is from the perspective of the biological perspective. So like, what is it that um, I really thought I was here? Eh, that's all right, not a problem. I just said I was doing this on the first page and I was not, okay. Sorry. 
All right, let's do a few things a little differently here. Put this, I love this lighthouse. Put that here. And then I want to do something with this washi, I think. in this box. So the biological perspective in psychology, of course, indicates that there is a biological reason for our emotions, whether that is a chemical reaction occurring in the body um, or a lack of chemicals. So, you know, like when it comes to anger, some people get angry because they're hungry and they're not actually angry per se. It's just that um, they've got low blood sugar, and that's how it gets expressed. Um, with confidence, there is no, um, like, biological um, rationale in that but there are chemicals that go along with the body that of course help to explain why we might feel the way we do these are things of course like testosterone uh does tend to help us feel a little bit more confident um which is why men oftentimes feel no well, really feel confidence and are known for their confidence Try and decide if there's something I need, something more. I don't really have anything small. So for the moment, I may push, put this up a little, there we go. So I tend to kind of decorate a little and then go back and add um, extra things here and there. Let's have some people, some people at the beach here. Put a little oar, I love it. All right, let's see what else we've got here. We have this weekend sticker. I don't know if it's too big or too much. Hmm. Also have this weekend sticker. What have we needed to have gone behind? You can always lift these up and put this behind it. Why don't we try that? We'll see if I like it or not. So yeah, so there are some chemicals that correspond to confidence. Um, and so there is something to, if you don't have those chemicals in the body, it's gonna be a lot harder to feel and um, to feel confident. At the same time, confidence is one of those emotions that is, that can be faked. Like the faking of it can lead to the experience of it, which is an, an interesting, not every emotion is like that, um, but confidence is one of those emotions where you can really fake it and until you make it, as the saying goes. So with my Patreon group, what you're essentially actually signing up for um, 
is a newsletter, a weekly newsletter. So I will send you a weekly newsletter with sometimes with challenges, with discussions, um, with invitations to um, a monthly meeting where we just, you know, we talk about our emotions and how, how they're going, how we're feeling, um, how we're able to reach out to them, reach out, you know, about them. Is that crooked? It says a little crooked. Let's see if I can uncrookify it. There we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, you, and you just, you know, you come together with people who are also working on themselves in such a way as to want to, um, want to express their feelings, um, in a more, uh, authentic way that just leads to more joy for them. Pulling out one more sticker here. Just want to be on the beach here with this. There we go. It's a little crooked. <sighs> anyone can anyone attest to do you get better at putting down stickers because I don't feel like I am I don't feel like I'm like I feel like I've been doing this now for years because I have been for like four years and I still can't lay a sticker down straight like what is that all right there we go I just love I think she's so subtle but I like her so much um, I just love that little detail. So if you're struggling with confidence, I will be giving some different suggestions throughout the month for uh, ways to try to build that confidence in your life. Some different, um, just like activities that you can do to build confidence trying to see if there's anything that I'll be doing. I love this planner. I do planner things on Sunday. So I'll go ahead and put a little planner icon here in the morning. How cute is that? Uh, let's see, trash needs to go out on Thursday. So I'm gonna put a little trash bin in the evening here. Also have a friend, I'm doing dinner then, let's see. Also having a friend over to do planner stuff on Friday. So I'm gonna take this whole planner stack, put it over here. I love this other cute little planner, I love it. Just trying to see if there's any others. I did my nails today, but I won't need to do them. Ideally, I won't need to do them for another week and a half or so. I will, I'm gonna work from home on Wednesday. So I'll just go ahead and put this little work here. How cute is that? So cute. gonna work out tomorrow morning so I'm, I'll put well I work out on Monday morning so pretty early so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little thing there I just realized that I am like planning this week as though this is my the actual week I'm in and it's not but that's all right hopefully I'll still do some planner things that day <laughs> oh and the trash and that stuff does um is the same, but I need to look ahead to see if it's a recycling week or not. Okay. I think that's good. Um, I think 
I will go ahead, let's see, and just put another or over here. I like that. It also makes the corner not so stark. And then last but not least, I do like to add some of these stickers. So this is way too many things for me to like personally do. So I like to kind of add that on top. It's a reminder to that that is way too many things to try and do in one day. If I tell myself I'm gonna do more than like six things, it's not gonna happen at all. But Again, not straight. There we go. So when it comes to faking confidence, uh, one of the things you can do is poses. Uh, there are poses you can do um, in terms of like the Superman pose, uh, you can you can we can practice confidence in two ways. So you can do one where you stand in such a way as to feel the power, but you can also stand in such a way as to remind yourself that you um, that it's not so much about power, but it's about like you can be submissive and still be really powerful. Um, so you don't always have to be the one in control um, to be powerful. And so you can do ones like, um, like if you stand up and you put your hands out into the air like you're a little kid asking for a hug, um, that can be a very powerful position um, because is what kid, what kid gets denied? So that's a huge thing right there. Uh, and so, that is um, another thing to remember to be reminded about when it comes to um, confidence. So, all right, let's do a quick flip through of the week, this nautical themed uh, with the largely stickers from planning in blue jeans. Got Monday and Tuesday here, Wednesday and Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So cute, I love it. Trying to decide if I want anything else, uh, like maybe in this corner over here. I think I do want a little safe harbor here. There we go. Just gives it a little bit more emphasis there. Don't think I want anything else there. I'm trying to decide if I wanted something like down here. Uh, but I don't, I don't think so. I think it'll make it look too angly. All right, this is super fun. Thank you for watching. Uh, I encourage you, of course, to watch the next video. The link to it is in the show notes. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. If you're interested in confidence or gaining some confidence, um, go ahead and check out my Patreon group and uh, I'll see you over there. All right, have a great week. Bye.